Good morning. It's Monday, and it's uh, time to restart our devotions. Here it is in 2022, uh, January 10. Uh, let's have our devotions together. Um, this week, uh, or this coming week, on Sunday, I think we're going to focus on 1 Corinthians 12. It's a, it's a passage from the lectionary for this this week of, of this year, uh, and so the scriptures will come from the lectionary readings for this week. Well, for the coming week, and uh, and I'll kind of all point toward First Corinthians twelve. Today we have uh, Isaiah sixty-two. Isaiah is one of the prophets, uh, one of the one of the one of the major prophets for us. Uh, uh, and here we have. Uh, sometimes it's hard to read the prophets, uh, <clears throat> not because, of, not just because sometimes it's hard to understand, but but the. Um, the conditions seem strange to those of us, at least in our context, where uh, you know we've been through. Uh, uh, the people of God have been ripped out of their land and then uh, have existed as foreigners, uh, unwilling <laughs> foreign foreigners, and then uh, either are going back or uh, are going back soon or are on their way back or have been back, that's kind of hard to get a handle on, uh, but it's in all that, like most of the prophets speak to uh, sort of the downfall of Israel, of Israel, of the people of God, uh, the mounting unfaithfulness, and then a time of exile, and then a time of return. And uh, what does make it uh, not so difficult is, is we can think of that in terms of, in terms of our lives, I don't mean being ripped away from our land. I mean the effects of our sin, and uh, and God's uh, God's walking with us uh, through the consequences of those, or the direct sense of, of punishment for those, or some combination of the two. Uh, maybe it's just the guilt of those things, and then walking through and uh, understanding and receiving forgiveness and and being restored and sort of a sort of a cycle in our lives uh, kind of <clears throat> well anyway um, this is uh, Isaiah 62 1 through 5 for Zion's sake I won't keep silent and for Jerusalem's sake I won't sit still uh, they, the prophet means Zion and Jerusalem same thing uh, until her righteousness shines out like a light and her salvation blazes like a torch, nations will see your righteousness, all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name, which the Lord's own mouth will determine. You will be a splendid garland in the Lord's hand, a royal turban in the palm of God's hand. You will no longer be called abandoned, and your land will no longer be called deserted. Instead, you will be called, My delight is in her, and your land married, because the Lord delights in you. Your land will be cared for once again. As a young man marries a young woman, so your sons will marry you with the joy of a bridegroom because of his bride, so your God will rejoice because of you. There's fascinating, and often not just here, fascinating metaphor language uh, connecting, uh, comparing uh, uh, the people of God and God uh, to bridegroom or bride and bridegroom, uh, and then even then to Jesus and people of God as bridegroom and and bride. Uh, it, it, I think it's worth I think it's worth spending some time looking at that and contemplating it a little and uh, seeing how those how those connections uh, help us to understand who God is. The song I have for today is uh, I think a song that. Uh, those in our congregation, at least, who are listening, uh, are familiar with Longing for Light. It's in our Sing the Journey songbook. Uh, I'm going to sing it from Voices Together. Uh, and I, I don't think I'm going to sing, I'm not going to sing all five verses. You can kind of hear my voice is a little wonky this morning. Uh, but Longing for Light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light, 
Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gathered today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light. Shine in your church gathered today. Many the gifts, many the people. Many the hearts that yearn to belong. Let us be servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gathered today. Amen.